With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. The DeSoto Parish Coroner officially confirmed yesterday at 5.02 p.m. that the remains of the bodies found in the helicopter wreckage in DeSoto Parish in Wallace Lake were Terry Bailey, age 54, and Pam Bailey, age 57, both longtime residents of Center. According to DeSoto Parish Sheriff's Office, crews worked on and completely recovered the remains at the crash site. They also assisted federal investigators in gaining access to the area to document the aircraft wreckage as part of their investigation. The aircraft will be removed from the location and turned over to federal investigators. David Chadwick, mayor of the city of Center, laments the loss of Terry and Pam Bailey. The city of Center grieves with the family of Pam and Terry Bailey at this tragic loss of two of our, our native citizens and friends. Uh, Mr. and Ms. Bailey were deeply loved their community and they enjoy being a part of it and its growth and its success. Uh, we will miss their devotion to our community and to its citizens, their vision, for a future for our community and their spirit of entrepreneurship, their generosity and Christian witness in their daily lives, in their daily walk. Uh, they have enriched our lives and leave a lasting footprint in our community. This information released as of yesterday from the Shelby County Sheriff's Office on December the 24th, 2016. Patrick Dwayne Parks, age 53, of Joaquin, attacked Jimmy Ray Garrett with a 2 by 4 breaking Garrett's left elbow. When questioned as to why he did it, Parks stated that he believed Mr. Garrett and his brother had stolen $30 from his wallet. Parks claims it was unintentional as they were both intoxicated and arguing. The Center Municipal Court Warrant Roundup is coming soon. Are you on the list? Payments must be paid in full. For more information, please contact the court at 936-598-3080. That's 598-3080. And this is a statewide event. In your community news this morning, the basic parenting training program is coming up. The first meeting is scheduled for February the 27th at the Open Door Worship Center located here in Center, Texas. Meetings will follow on Mondays, 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. For more information, please call 598-6315. That's 598-6315. Woden Life Chapter 250 will hold their monthly meeting on Monday, February the 20th at 6 p.m., The meeting will be held in the meeting room at the Pizzeria, and refreshments will be provided. Plans for the 2017 annual Shelby County Livestock Show are set. The show is going to be held on Thursday, March the 2nd at the Shelby County Expo Center. The sale will be held on Saturday, March the 4th at the John D. Wyndham Civic Center, with a meal starting at 6 p.m. The James Community Center will hold its monthly meeting on Saturday, February the 18th. That's this Saturday, tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. Center Broadcasting Company is celebrating our 68th anniversary next Wednesday, the 22nd. We will have an open house 11 to 1. And in your church news this morning, the anniversary of the Triumph Church is coming up this Sunday, the 19th at 3 p.m. Also going on at the Strong Triumph Church, the Pack the Pew Spring Musical is coming up on Saturday, March the 4th at 6 p.m. And moving along in your school news this morning, Tenaha ISD is going to have a school board meeting next Monday at 5.30 p.m. Joaquin ISD will have a school board meeting next Monday at 6 p.m. As always, for more information on our stories, visit our website at cbc-radio.com. With your local and area news, I'm Justin Mott.